Now, when studying the Crucible, Reverend Hell is another really important character that you need to become very familiar with and memorize key quotations. Now, Reverend Hell at first is part of the establishment. He arrives from a different city or rather a different town. He is seen as the voice of reason and authority and his arrival confirms that there is indeed witchcraft at afoot. And at first when he arrives, he almost arrives with this air of arrogance around him. He believes that his ideas are really infallible. There's no mistake to him. And of course, he also declares at Salem, there's a lot of witchcraft that's happening. However, as the play progresses and he starts realising a lot of the hypocrisy and he also starts noticing that key characters like Governor Danforth really are using this process as a way to just amass more power rather than actually genuinely having an interest in protecting people from a religious standpoint from witches, he actually becomes very disillusioned with the process. Now, rather than maybe using his power to convince the governors that, you know, they need to stop this whole process, he actually towards the end, even if he becomes disillusioned and really starts talking down on this process and really seeing all the wrong things with it, he still places too much energy and emphasis on trying to get other characters like John Proctor to falsely confess in order to save their lives rather than denouncing the entire process of witchcraft and witch hunting, okay? So he's a really interesting character in that sense. And whilst at first he's part of the establishment, he supports the whole process of witch hunts and witchcraft, and of course he has blood on his hands, he ultimately becomes very disillusioned with this process. Now, the first quotation to relate to Reverend Hell is, the stage directions when he first arrives in Act 1 and he's setting down his books and there's ellipsis here, okay? So this is the uh, stage direction setting down his books and of course you want to focus on the verb setting down. He has this there of the authority. He almost is somewhat arrogant. He believes his ideas are infallible. In other words, he believes he can make no mistake. Then he states, they awaited with authority. So he's talking about the books and of course this is tying into how he is supposedly an expert in spotting witches, okay? Now, in this and what he says, the word level analysis you want to do is alliteration of W, so weighted and with. And of course, this illustrates at the beginning that Reverend Hell is really a figure of authority that's part of the establishment. Now, the second quotation to bear in mind with his character is when, of course, he comes in and then he asserts, the devil is alive in Salem. And of course, here it's interesting because on the surface, this quotation is simply stating a fact from his perspective that there's definitely the devil here. He's causing women to, you know, become witches. However, we can also, when we're looking at word level analysis, you could actually see this as a metaphor. The devil being alive, the devil is a metaphor for people with dishonest intentions, people who are basically, they have devilish reasons behind why they're causing all of these innocent people to die uh, as a result of being denounced as witches. And so perhaps this is a metaphor more so so not so much as the, you know, the witches that are there, it's an evidence of the devil being there. However, this could be a metaphor to relate to key characters, again, Governor Danforth, uh, even Reverend Paris to an extent, these characters are very corrupt in their intentions. Even think about the Putnam family. And therefore, you could state that this quotation actually foreshadows the devilish actions that these characters do in order to just simply further their own interests, okay? Now, the third quotation to bear in mind with Reverend Hell's character is when he states and he's asserting, uh, you know, why his work is so important and how it's very sometimes hard to tell the witches amongst them. He refers to the Bible and he states, until an hour before the devil fell, God thought him beautiful in heaven. And of course, this uh, imagery, especially talking about beauty, this connotes and ties into the idea that the majority of people who were denounced during this time were women. This idea that women deliberately use disguise to mislead men, okay? Now here, the word level analysis you want to focus on is the oxymoron, so uh, opposite words devil and God. And of course, this is tied into how Reverend Hell really genuinely at this stage believes that there are witches and he sees women as threats, especially women whose sexuality is very unfettered. The other quotation to bear in mind with Reverend Hell's character is when he states in Act 4, so now this is when he's changed, he's become very disillusioned with the process and he's trying to get people to confess their sins in order to at least save their lives. He's now trying to see what he can do to maybe not let innocent people die. 
Now he states, let you not mistake your duty as I mistook my own. And here you can say that he's actually very self-recriminatory. He can see some of the mistakes that he made being part of this entire process that he's now realizing is a very corrupted process. Now, the word level analysis you want to do for what he says here is the pronouns you your when he's talking particularly for example to elizabeth he's saying that it's her duty to try and get john proctor to lie in order to save his life and she shouldn't mistake the role that she plays in saving his life much like he unlike him who mistook his role he thought he was coming in as a good person to you know spot all the witches and then he realizes now he, it's all a mistake he was just part of a very elaborate political scheme also, another word level analysis you want to do is alliteration of M. So you've got mistake, uh, which is repeated twice. And of course, you've got my, okay? Now here, of course, we can see that Reverend Hill has really changed. He's become very disillusioned and he's now becoming very worried about all of these innocent people who are dying at the hands of essentially hypocrites, people who are using puritanical faith and religion as a very thin veil for their own self interests okay so that's really it when it comes to key quotations to remember for the character of Reverend Hill